think I can keep this under four minutes. Um, there's a lot of points I can make, but I think a lot of this has been gone over already. I just want to talk a little bit more about the problems with um, nuclear radiation. Uh, there's this, in the industry, the idea of the standard man, the standard person, and what amount of ionizing radiation would be a threshold level for it. I just want to comment about that, that women are about 50% more vulnerable to nuclear radiation than men are, having more reproductive tissue. And children and babies, I don't think I need to tell anybody about with their rapidly growing bodies, they're much more vulnerable to it also. Um, nuclear contamination begins with the mining of the, of the uranium. It goes through the processing of the uranium, the transportation, when it's used in the reactors, uh, the storing of the nuclear waste, transporting it, and then dealing with the decommissioned reactors when it's all over. All along the line, even on the best of circumstances, there's going to be some leaking of radiation. Um, it is, as a friend of mine said, like the Midas touch in reverse. The other issue I want to bring up is my concerns about the Broad River and the cumulative effects of the thermal contamination. I didn't get an answer to my question about how many power plants are along the Broad River, but I, there are several, and then there's other industries and things that are dumping uh, heat into the river. I don't think there's any way that this cannot affect the ecosystem of the river. And if it gets hot enough, the water can't be used for cooling anymore. Uh, several years ago when there was a real heat wave in Europe, they had to close down some other nuclear power plants because the water wasn't cool enough to cool the reactors. So those are my two points. Thank you.